welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana <coughs> vishvesham sachidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी स्टडीड the three important types of samasas avyayi bhav bahuvrihi and dvandva we have already studied avyayi bhav and bahuvrihi in some detail currently we are focused on the dvandva samasa which is extremely important type of samasa in sanskrit the features of the dvandva samasa can be briefly pointed out with the help of this equation on this slide where we have x and y put in separate square brackets indicating that they are independent of each other independent in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent the plus sign indicates that x and y are semantically related and therefore the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and thereby starts the process of compounding primarily in the intellect and later on as a result the expression also follows suit in the form of the sounds which are audible now the output generated is one unit xy one unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent now x and y both are put in the bold letters primarily to indicate that both x and y act as the head in the dvandva samasa we have already seen that in the tatpurusha samasa y is put in the bold characters to indicate that y acts as the head of the tatpurusha samasa in the avyayi bhav x is marked with the bold characters indicating that x acts as the head of the avyayi bhav samasa in the bahuvrihi samasa neither x nor y is marked with the bold characters indicating thereby that none of the two constituents acts as the head of the bahuvrihi samasa and that the head of the bahuvrihi samasa lies out of the compound out of the constituents in the dvandva samasa however both x and y both the constituents they act as the head of the samasa in the ashtadhyayi the dvandva samasa is treated at various places the samasa vidhayaka sutra that is the compound prescribing sutra is only one namely charthe dvandvaha 2229 the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutra is also only one 54106 the swara vidhayaka sutras are not too many only a few from 6 to 34 up to 6 to 37 the ekavad bhava vidhayaka sutras stated in the ashtadhyayi are from 241 to 16 amongst them for the dvandva samasa they are from 242 to 16 
the linga vidhayaka sutra as far as the dvandva samasa is concerned is 2426 the three features of the samasa which apply also to the dvandva samasa are aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikasvarya or ekasvarata we have been highlighting these features again and again and again and we hope that the learners will remember these features very much these are the distinguishing features of the samasa currently we are studying the ekavad bhava as far as the dvandva samasa is concerned which says that there are some words and some meanings which get compounded only in the sense of samahara and never in the sense of itaretara yoga and just as samahara is is singular in number and neuter in gender the samasa of these restricted elements also gets singular number as well as the neuter gender this getting the singular number is referred to here as ekavad bhava so what is ekavad bhava when the dvandva samasa takes place when the sense of itaretara yoga is denoted the output samasa has the feature of the udbhutavayava bheda samuha it's a collection in which the constituent parts maintain their difference and the constituents act as the independent entities the output samasa will then have gender and number accordingly according to the gender and number of the constituents here we may get all the numbers singular as well as dual as well as plural but when the dvandva samasa takes place when the sense of samahara is denoted the output samasa has the feature of the tirohitava yava bheda samuha a collection in which the difference within the constituent parts disappears the output samasa will have gender neuter and number singular here we do not get all the numbers singular dual as well as plural but we get only singular now there are some words which demonstrate a particular feature whenever they get compounded as dvandva samasa they get compounded only when the samahara is denoted and never when itaretara yoga is denoted the earlier explanations of itaretara yoga and samahara were generic in nature they may apply to any word any meaning but there are some words and some meanings which get compounded only if samahara is denoted and never itaretara yoga so they will always appear in singular and in neuter gender they are stated in a section that begins with 242 and goes up to 2416 and this is what is called ekavad bhava this section is that of the ekavad bhava we have studied in the previous lecture we studied the sutras from 242 onwards up to 2410 let us proceed further and study the sutras beginning with 2411 in this particular lecture 2411 is gavashva prabhruti nicha this sutra means that the dvandva samasa of the words mentioned in the list that begins with gavashva takes place only in the sense of collection so we have a list of words that begins with gavashva and so it is clear that in this samasa takes place only when the sense of collection is denoted and not in the sense of itaretara yoga so we have a list gavashva gavashvam gavavika gavavikam gavaidakam ajavikam अजयडकम कुब्जवामनम कुब्जकैरातकम पुत्रपौत्रम 
स्वचंडालम स्त्री कुमारम दासी मानवकम उष्ट्रखरम उष्ट्र शशम मूत्र शक्रुत मूत्र पुरीशम सो गो एंड अश्व दे बोथ गेट कंपाउंडेड इन द सेंस ऑफ समाहार ओनली गवा गो एंड अविक ऑल्सो गेट कंपाउंडेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंस ओनली Let us go to two four twelve. The sutra is vibhasha, vruksha, mruga, trana, dhanya, vyanjana, pasu, shakuni, asva, vadav, purva, par, adharot, taranam. I repeat, vibhasha, vruksha, mruga, trana, dhanya, vyanjana, pasu, shakuni, asva, vadav, purva, par, adharot, taranam. What this means is that. the dvandva samasa of the words denoting vruksha that is tree etc takes place only in the sense of collection or samahara optionally that means optionally the itaretara yoga is also possible thereby both the meanings samahara as well as itaretara yoga become the conditions for the application of the process of compounding let us look at the examples of each one vruksha and we have the examples of plakshanyagrodham as well as plakshanyagrodhau plakshanyagrodham is the example of samahara and plakshanyagrodhau is the example of itaretara yoga mruga ruru prushatam or ruru prushatau both is possible तृण इज तो कुश काशम एज वेल एज कुश काशा बोथ आर पॉसिबल वृक्ष इज ट्री मृग इज एनी एनिमल तृण इज ग्रास धान्य इज एनी फूड ग्रेन सो व्रीहि यवम एज वेल एज व्रीहि यवाहा व्यंजन एंड यू हैव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दधिघृतम एज वेल एज दधिघृते पशु गो महिषम एंड गो महिषा शकुनी द बर्ड्स तित्तिरी कपिंजलम एज वेल एज तित्तिरी कपिंजला अश्व बड़वम एज वेल एज अश्व वड़व पूर्वापरम एज वेल एज पूर्वापरे एंड अधरोत्तरम एज वेल एज अधरोत्तरे सो हियर वी हैव दीज एग्जाम्पल्स शोइंग दैट इन दीज केसेस बोथ इतरेतर योग एज वेल एज समाहर आर कंडीशन फॉर द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द द्वंद्व समास देर इज अ स्टेटमेंट विच सेज दैट बहु प्रकृति ही फल सेना वनस्पति मृग शकुनि क्षुद्र जंतु धान्य तृणानाम सो द द्वंद्व समास ऑफ फलर्स द फ्रूट्स सेना द आर्मी एंड द लिम्स ऑफ द आर्मी वनस्पति द ट्रीज मृग एनिमल शकुनि बर्ड क्षुद्र जंतु स्मॉल स्पीशीज धान्य फूड ग्रेन एंड तृण ग्रास the sadvandva which is samahara dvandva takes place of these elements only if the number of the constituents which get compounded is many if the number of the constituents is not many it's only two then the samahara does not take place only the itaretara yoga then takes place let us proceed further and let us study 2.4.13 which is vipratishiddham cha anadhikaran vachi the word adhikaran here refers to a substance or dravya anadhikaran is 
नॉट द्रव्य अनधिकरण वाची इज अ वर्ड विच डज नॉट डिनोट अ सब्सटेंस और द्रव्य विप्रतिषिद्धम इज ऑपोजिट सो वर्ड्स विच डिनोट ऑपोजिट मीनिंग्स एंड विच डू नॉट डिनोट एनी सब्सटेंस दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड्स विप्रतिषिद्धम च अनधिकरण वाची सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सूत्र इज द द्वंद्व समास ऑफ द वर्ड्स डिनोटिंग ऑपोजिट मीनिंग्स not referring to the substance takes place only in the sense of collection or samahara optionally thus you have both itar itar yoga as well as samahara being the conditions for the dvandva samasa to take place so now we have shitam cha ushnam cha shita is cold ushna is hot or warm so these are the meanings which are opposed to each other but they do not denote any substance and that's why according to this sutra both itar itar yoga as well as samahara are the conditions in which this compound can get formed so we have shitoshnam as well as shitoshne similarly sukha dukham as well as sukha dukhe and jivita maranam as well as jivita marane both are possible वे प्रतिषिद्धम च अनधिकरण वाची नेक्स्ट वी गो टू टू फोर फोर्टीन विच इज न दधिपय आदिनी हियर देर इज अ नेगेशन दिस इज ऑल्सो अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स एंड द सूत्र सेज दैट द द्वंद्व समास ऑफ द वर्ड्स दधिपयस एट्सेट्रा डज नॉट टेक प्लेस इन द सेंस ऑफ कलेक्शन दैट मीन्स इट टेक्स प्लेस ओनली इन द सेंस ऑफ इतरे तर योग so here are the words which are part of this list dadhipayasi sarpir madhuni madhu sarpishi brahma prajapati shiva vaishravanau skanda vishakhau shukla krishnau idma barhishi diksha tapasi shraddha tapasi in all these examples the dvandva samasa takes place only in the sense of itar itar yoga and never in the sense of samahara let us go to the next sutra 2415 which is adhikarana itavatve cha the meaning of this sutra is the dvandva samasa in which the meaning of the compound is measured itavatva measured adhikarana is the substratum over here and this substratum is nothing but the meaning of the samasa and when this meaning gets measured then of course gets measured by the number of other words which count so then such a samasa does not take place in the sense of collection or samahara it rather happens in the sense of itare tara yoga so for example danta and oshtha these are the limbs of the body pranyanga so the samahara is stated and the dvandva samasa is stated only in the sense of samahara however when the danta and oshtha they get measured the meaning of the samasa gets measured adhikarana itavatve cha when adhikarana itavatva happens then the same samasa does not happen in the sense of samahara but rather it happens in the sense of itare tara yoga so dasha is the number which indicates that the samasa artha of dantoshtha is getting measured and so then dantoshtha does not remain a samahara dvandva it is rather rather the itare tara dvandva so we have dasha dantoshtha similarly dasha मार्दंगिक पाणविका मार्दंगिक पाणविक आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ द तूर्य सो तूर्यांग सो द सूत्र द्वंद्वश्च प्राणितूर्य सेनांगा नाम टू फोर टू डज से दैट द द्वंद्व हियर हैपन्स ओनली इन द सेंस ऑफ समाहार बट द प्रेजेंट सूत्र से इज दैट वेन द मीनिंग ऑफ द समास इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर क्वांटिफाइड then 
the samasa does not take place in the sense of samahara but rather it takes place in the sense of itare tara yoga so we have dasha mardangika panavikaha mardangika panavikaha next we have 2416 vibhasha samipe this means that the dvandva samasa in which the meaning of the compound is approximately measured so samipe adhikarana itavatve approximately measured does not take place optionally in the sense of collection or samahara it does take place in place of it does take place in the sense of itare tara yoga so we have dantoshtha once again and the sutra dvandvascha pranituriya senanganam says that since these are the pranyangas they get compounded only in the sense of samahara but when they get quantified and that too approximately that approximate quantification is indicated by the word upadasha then we have upadasham dantoshtham but this is done optionally so then upadashaha dantoshtha both usages are allowed when upadasham dantoshtham is used upadasham is an avyayi bhav so this is the case of avyayi bhav anuprayog where we have upadashaha dantoshtha upadashaha is the bahuvrihi stated by the sutra avyayam stated by the sutra sankhyaya avyaya sanna duradhik sankhyaha sankheye now let us study this sutra 2417 after the ekavad bhav section comes to an end at 2416 here comes the sutra which also says that the samahara dvandva denotes neuter gender the dvandva samasa which takes place in the sense of samahara denotes neuter gender and therefore all the examples like pani pad shirogriva marjara mushaka ahina kula they all are declined in accordance with the declension of the neuter gender so we have pani padam shirogrivam marjara mushakam and ahina kulam sa napumsakam finally we look at the sutra 2426 which states the gender of the dvandva samasa as well as the tatpurusha samasa paravallingam dvandva tatpurusha yoho the meaning of this sutra is that in the dvandva and tatpurusha samasas the gender of the compound is same as that of the latter element that is the uttara pad i repeat in the dvandva and tatpurusha samasas the gender of the compound is same as that of the latter element that is the uttara pad this is the mention of the dvandva samasa in the sense of itare tara yoga because in the case of samahara the gender is already stated by the sutra sa napumsakam so for example if we have the dvandva samasa kukutascha mayuri cha and then the uttara pad is mayuri which is in feminine therefore the gender of the dvandva samasa will be determined by the gender of the uttara pad mayuri and therefore the entire dvandva samasa will now appear in the feminine gender and therefore we have usages like kukuta mayuryau ime ime indicates that this samasa is in the feminine gender similarly the same constituents where the uttara pad changes and now you have mayuri kukuta and kukuta is in masculine gender and then 
the gender of this Uttarapada becomes the gender of the Dvandva Samasa and we have Mayuri Kukutau Imau, the masculine usage of the Samasa. This brings us to the close of the discussion of the Dvandva Samasa. Here are some observations. There is no upper limit on the number of constituents the Dvandva Samasa can have. Literally, we can say Anantaha Dvandvaha. For example, this is a Sutra 412 and this is read as Svauja Samaut Shashta Bhyambhis Gibhyambhis Nasibhyambhis Nasos Am Nyosup. This is nothing but one Samasa and this is a Dvandva Samasa. This Dvandva Samasa has got 21 constituents. It is that kind of compound which is formed using a very general pattern throughout with minimal semantic condition. So the treatment of this compound also remains simple in the Ashtadhyayi with only one Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra and only one Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutra but with very much productivity. This must be a grammarian's delight therefore. At the end of this discussion, let us talk about the Garbha Samasa, which is a Samasa inside another Samasa. So Dvandva Garbha Bahuvrihi Samasa, let us talk about this. Here are some examples. So when the meaning to be conveyed is a devotee who has worshipped both Hari and Hara, Pujitau Hari Harau Yena Saha. This is a Bahuvrihi Samasa in which Hari Harau is the inside Samasa. This is a Dvandva Samasa. Harischa, Harascha, Hari Harau. And then Pujitau Hari Harau. Similarly, a family which has worshipped Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrughna. Since the Anya Padartha is family, the resultant Bahuvrihi Samasa would denote neuter gender. But inside this Bahuvrihi Samasa lies a Dvandva Samasa with four constituents. So now we have Pujitaha, Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, Shatrughna, Yena, Tat. That refers to this family, Kula. And then we join them together, do the compounding, and we get the big compound, Pujita, Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, Shatrughna. And the Prathama Ekavachana of this Samasa would be Pujita, Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, Shatrughna. Similarly, when the Bahuvrihi Samasa means a student who has recited Ashtadhyayi 4.1.2, Swaujas, etc. The Laukika Vigraha would be Adhitaha, Swaujas, etc. Yena, Saha. And then the Bahuvrihi Samasa with a Dvandva Samasa inside with 21 constituents would be of the following kind, Adhita, Swaujas, etc. Similarly, we have a, dva, a Bahuvrihi Samasa, Jaya Pratigrahita Gandha Malya, whose Tritiya Ekavachana is used in the Raghuvamsha, Jaya Pratigrahita Gandha Malyam. And here we have Jaya Pratigrahita and Gandha Malya as two constituents, in which Gandha Malya is the Dvandva Samasa, Gandha Malya. And so the vigraha of the samasa is jayaya pratigrahite gandhamalye yayasa, one who made the wife to offer the scent and garland. This anyapadartha is kau, and so jaya pratigrahite gandhamalyam dhenum. Now this bahurihi samasa consists of gandhamalya as the internal dvandva samasa. Therefore, this samasa is dvandva garbha bahurihi samasa. And this pattern is very productive. The 
samasa within a samasa this is very much productive and it can go on and on and on to summarize the dvandva samasa is very productive in sanskrit yet without many variations or many patterns for a grammarian to take note of indeed this is vyakarana santoshah the dvandva samasa now some other points to remember over here one of them is that the two dvandva samasas used in one same, same sentence are used to show the principle of correspondence for example in the ashtadhyayi we have tunda shokayoho parim rajapanado 325 where one samasa is tunda shoka and the other samasa is parim raja apanud tunda is the first member and that is related to the first member of the second dvandva samasa namely parim raja shoka is the second member of the dvandva samasa and it is associated with the second member of the second dvandva samasa namely apanud similar is the case with stambha karna yo rami japo ho 3213 where stambha karna is the first dvandva samasa and rami japa is the second dvandva samasa and the first member of the first dvandva samasa is linked to the first member of the second dvandva samasa and so on the dvandva samasa is used by panini to also show disjunctive application for example nvultra chau 31133 here the suffixes nvul and truch are added to the verbal root one by one and not simultaneously similarly tavyat tavyani yaraha the three suffixes stated here tavyat tavya and anir are added one by one disjunctively and not simultaneously at the same place one after the other indeed a very useful device in the hand of a grammarian therefore vyakarana pramodah dvandvah there are various other functions that the dvandva samasa performs to serve the purpose of the grammarian there are some other features which we have not studied in this particular course notably the accent but that remains for future in this course we have studied the important features of the avyayi bhava bahuvrihi and dvandva samasa we have studied the process of compounding we have studied mainly the sutras which prescribe and describe this particular process and we have also studied the important features of these samasas the three key words for any samasa are once again aikarthya aikapadya and aikasvarya these are the texts that we constantly kept referring to the ashtadhyayi composed by panini the samarthanika which is part of the great vyakarana mahabhashya composed by the great patanjali वाक्यपतीय कंपोज बाय अनदर ग्रेट स्कॉलर भर्तृहरी काशिका वृत्ति कंपोज बाय जयादित्य एंड वामन एंड द समास प्रकरण फ्रॉम द वैयाकरण सिद्धांत कौमुदी कंपोज बाय द भट्टोजी दीक्षित थैंक यू वेरी मच